Hello, it is Eric Pauly at erpauly.com. Today we are going to be making some flyers or posters inside of Blender. So let's go over and do some of that. <laughs> Whoa, crazy guy. So you're going to want to find yourself an image like this on the internet. Uh, you can also take a picture at your local community college or library and use some assets that nobody else has access to in the world. And, okay, but this is the one I'm going to be using. I have Blender open right over her. I'm going to select everything and delete with the delete key. I'm going to shift A and go to plane because I'm a plain Jane kind of guy. <laughs> Just, uh, um, I'm going to hit our rotate 90 degrees on the X axis. I'm going to hit uh, 1 on the number pad, make sure I'm facing the front. I'm going to hit S, X to scale on the X axis, about like that. I'm going to hit tab, and I'm going to hit Control R to create a loop cut. And I'm going to go up, um, yeah, about three, three loop cuts should be sufficient. And I'm going to do the same thing. I could subdivide or do whatever, and that would work just as well. But for this demonstration, this should be sufficient. Control R, up one. I'm going to scroll in the middle mouse to create more segments of the loop cut. I'm going to click once when I'm happy with it, and it leaves me with this sliding scale, which I'm going to right click to have it perfectly even. Now, while I'm in edit mode, I'm going to hit A to select all of that. Shift D to duplicate Hit the X key and go about like so. Now I'm going to hit S and scale that down. I'm going to hit Control or Shift D and hit the X key. Now I've duplicated that and I'm sliding it about like so. And I'm going to hit S key to scale that a little bit again. Now for my next trick, no, I'm going to hit 2 on the keyboard to select lines while I'm in edit mode. Now I'm going to grab this bottom line, hit G and Y to grab it along the Y axis and have it bend just a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Um, let's actually, let's grab this one right here. I'm holding shift to select multiple lines. I'm going to hit G and G again to grab it only along the axis of the mesh itself. And I'm going to grab it about to right here. Now I'm going to hold shift well, I'm going to click first, and now I'm going to hold shift and select all of this, grab it on the Y axis, pull it out just a smidge, kind of like it's prying away from the wall, like it's not pinned just right. And to, to sell that fact, I'm going to select these two and grab them on the Y axis a little bit forward and a little bit closer to what would be the wall for where this is going to go. Now I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to hit 2 on the keyboard again, select lines and select these, grab them all on the Y axis just a tiny bit, enough to where it's noticeable. And then I'm going to select the bottom of this one as well, grab it out just a bit. And uh, we could grab this one out just a bit as well. Perfect. Now I'm going to hit A to select all, shift D and duplicate them on the Z axis. Now I'm going to uh, manipulate these ones a little bit further. I'm going to select actually all of these lines, grab them on the Y axis, like so. And do the same thing over here. Grab it on the Y axis, just a smidge. And the same thing over here. And this will just ensure that there's uh, a subtle amount of difference in all of these 
posters. Now if I hit 2 on the keyboard, I'm going to hold uh, control, so it'll select everything in between this slot and that slot, grab it on the y-axis, just a smidge like so. Great. We can even grab this, go like that, like it's wrinkly. Relax some wrinkly papers. That looks very paper-like. Uh, I think we did shade smooth on that, and we don't need to do that. Uh, that's just an added process if you want to go down and come down to your object data properties, go to normals, select auto smooth. We could shade smooth and well actually it's deleting all of the uh, subtle amount of details so you may not want to do that. Um, if it was glossy paper perhaps uh, that would be uh, re required. Uh, for this purpose, we do not need to do this. Um, so let's select all, and uh, let's hit U to unwrap. And now we have unwrapped these as a mesh. Let's go to shading, and check out our material. There is none. Let's create one. New. It's called material. Let's call it posters. And over here, that new material we just created, as long as we have our mesh selected, will be showing right here. All right, let's hold shift, press A, and shift A. For here, I'm gonna go search, and let's just start typing image, and there it is, click. And for this image, I'm first going to plug it into the base color. Now I'm going to open the base image and let's come down. Okay, so what was it called? Posters? Let's find Poster. It was not called Posters. What did I call it? Flyer? There's all my flyers. Where my flyers at? Uh, hold on, let me see if I, did I save them in the right spot? Flyers.jfifs. Well, I guess that's not the, that's not the flyer I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use one of these flyers. Flyer number three, I guess. Doesn't really matter to be honest, as long as they are flyers. These are added details. It might matter to you, in which case you can convert those files over and uh, use whatever flyers you would like. For me, I'm not too particular on these exact flyers here. So now I'm in UV edit mode because I have these flyers here, but this is not what I want to happen, right? I'm going to hit L while I'm hovering over the flyer I would like. And there it is in my UV edit. I'm going to hit A while I'm in this window, and I'm going to rotate it until I see that they are the right way up, I suppose. Now I'm going to grab this, hover it right above the, the poster I would like, and I'm going to keep on sizing it down until this square is over the poster that I would like. Well, it doesn't have to be too exact, but enough to where it's not going to get you out of it. So there's one poster. That's how this one's going to go. Let's do it with the rest. L to link. Select all the linked. I'm going to hit A. Select all of the poster over here. And let's go for it. Let's, uh, let's do this dog poster over here. It's kind of fun. Rotate 90 degrees. Rotate 180 degrees. And there we are. Right way up. Let's go right over this dog poster. Size. And grab. S for size. 
rotate. That seems pretty good. L link and select all over here. Rotate. Oh, you know what? Do we need to rotate? We don't need to rotate. I'm gonna get this weird green poster. S on the X axis. As for scale again. The weird poster, but I'm gonna go for it. Uh, it's link. Select linked by hitting the L key. A to select all. Let's rotate this way until we got what we want. I'm gonna go on whatever this poster is. Like it's a not quite perfect print. L to select it. Let's go over here, select all. No, nope. just this L. Now over here, select all. S to scale. It's kind of a fun poster. Get to mess with the dimensions of it. Doesn't have to be like it is in the actual poster. L, and we got another poster, and uh, grab this over here. Rose rock. All right, and that's a set of six posters that are ready to add to a scene. I don't need any really anything else. They have a subtle amount of bin in some of them. Um, maybe we'll improve a little bit of that. But yeah, something like that. That seems sufficient. Uh, so now we're going to have posters A. I'm going to right click to mark as an asset. So now I'm going to go down file external data. Make sure that this is either automatically packed or pack your resources. And this will make sure that the actual materials that you have added to your mesh will come with it. I'm going to save. And let's go to, uh, well, I, I currently have a folder set aside as called Asset Pack Folder. And where I will put posters, which is what I'm calling them now, apparently. A. And I'm going to save. Now, in order to be able to access these as a, an asset folder, you're going to want to go down to your preferences, all the way down to File Paths and add the folder that you have used. Now I've used asset pack and add. And uh, I already have it sitting here, so that's why I can access over here, down at asset browser. It should be available over here, asset, and just like that. Hey, we got some posters to put on the wall now. Now go build a wall and put the posters on it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, go build yourself an asset library. That's what I'm working on. Let's make that happen. I've been Eric Polly. Uh, why don't you just hit that subscribe button and then check out erpolly.com. I'll see you next time.